why I'm stalling. I just need to fill you guys in with what's been happening with me emotionally. Because it's a lot. It's a lot. And you guys, I told you in my last video that I was moving and that I have to move at the end of the month and I don't want to. I really don't fucking want to move. But sometimes the world doesn't work the way that you want it to. And sometimes you get stuck living with somebody who may or may not be a sociopath. That was based, not the least of my worries, but the least important thing for me to be worrying about. I mean, it was the most urgent, but on my list of things that actually mattered, that was at the bottom. So in the process of me having to figure out where I'm going to live, um, I'm also in the process of literally going through all of my childhood with my family because we're in the process of selling my childhood home that I have lived in, I mean, before moving here, been there since I was three years old. So my whole life, essentially, everything that I remember was in that house. And we're having to go through boxes and narrow down things that are important to keep because we're moving into a smaller house, which is my grandparents' house. So it's less weird moving into that one. And I keep saying we, like, it's still my family home. It's still my family and it's still my stuff. We have to whittle all that down and go through and say, this is important. We kept this all year, all these years for no reason. Just literally throwing away things that at the time I thought were so important. It's weird and I don't like it. So I have to go through all of my childhood while I'm moving everything where I'm living. Like just my home is moving and my house is moving. It feels weird not necessarily like having to move all the time, but it especially feels weird now that I'm not going to have the same home base I've had my whole life because I want to travel, I want to go places, but I would like to know that there was a place that I that it, that is mine. A place that it is mine and is a place where I'm comfortable and is a place where it's my home. And it's bad that I have become more comfortable at my friends' homes than my own house. I wanted to like it more than I did and I wanted to be able to tough it out and I wanted to be able to stay there for a long period of time because it's fucking cheap. But I can't make somebody leave. So while all this was going on, um, literally inner life choices, decisions, turmoil, struggle, all of that was going on. My best friend's father died three weeks ago. And I've been here worrying about where I'm gonna live. And her dad died. My best friend I've known since I was nine years old. 17 years lost her father. And he's been sick for almost a year. So it wasn't as much of a surprise, but it came on so quickly. And he wasn't old, like he was 65, but he was not old. So I've been here having so much fun this summer and like worrying about stupid shit like boys and while my best friend has been at home taking care of her dying father and I haven't been there for her and it sucks. We've lived five minutes away from each other for 17 years. So I didn't realize how hard it was going to be not living five minutes from her and I didn't realize how hard it was going to be to not have her need me as much because so much of the last five six years has been her needing my family and I haven't been there so that's what's been happening that's what's been up and that's why vlogtober is going to be much more sporadic than I had originally planned Basically, it's just going to be me vlogging quite a bit because that's going to be my only option because as of right now, I'm going to have to move. I just don't know where yet. And I've spent a lot of time crying over the last week. Partly because of just like the stress of everything and then we could, like my best friend's dad's funeral. But through all of this, I've actually had a lot of people reach out and just be there for me like just ask me if I'm okay because 
I've always been the person that was always okay. I've always been the person that would take care of somebody else if they weren't okay. And I've been the person, I've been the okay person. And I'm not always okay, and I'm not always 100%, and I'm not always going to be strong. And it's made me realize how much of a small little family, large family actually in Seattle that I've made over the last almost year, and it's made me see who, who really cares and who my real friends are, and that's made me really happy, and that's made me really full and cry tears of joy, because amidst a fucking horrible month, just a horrible time, they've been able to make my days better, and they've been able to just listen. So, I know at least a couple of my friends watch this. If you've reached out to me, and honestly, if you've just asked if I'm okay, that matters so much. Thank you. Because I'm not always okay. I should give you a song of the day, though. How about Heartbreaker from Noah Gunderson? Because I'm listening to his record, Carry the Ghost, so much, and it's amazing. And that song gets real heavy and like electric and shit and just like makes you feel stuff. It's good. It's good. Check it out, please, because uh, I love, I love No Understand, man. I'm going to go because I'm almost to work now. That drive was much shorter than I thought it was going to be.